Hi, everyone, and welcome to this tutorial on managing user permissions with the CAM2 application. In this guide, I'll walk you through every step from creating custom permission groups with specific access levels on the NVR to setting up users and assigning them to these groups and managing both new and existing users directly within the CAM2 application. So let's dive in. In order to manage users and their permissions from the CAM2 application, we need to create or have existing permission groups within our NVR. To find permission groups on our NVR, we can go to Accounts and Permissions, where we're going to find an option called Edit Permission Groups. If you already have an existing permission group, they will appear here on the right-hand side. And the permissions for the selected group will be displayed on the left-hand side. If you want to create a new group, click on the plus button. You can assign a logical name to the group that reflects its user and their roles. The first permissions that you can control are the settings you want the users in this group to have access to. You'll then have the option to enable or disable several key functions related to the CCTV cameras connected to the NVR. For example, you can select which cameras users assigned to this permission group can view live by going to preview and toggling the option on and off. You can do the same for search and playback, as well as for search and backup. Additionally, you can allow users in this permission group to listen to audio from the cameras with built-in microphones, and if you have PTZ cameras connected, you can also um, you can also have the option to enable or disable PTZ functions or control for this permission group. The great thing about controlling user permissions is that it's not just limited to the local device, i.e. the NVR, but it also extends to users who connect to the NVR remotely via the CAM2 application or our cloud web interface. It's important to note that in order for users assigned to this permission group to access the NVR via remote logins, you must enable the remote login function and remote login camera setting. The restriction options on remote devices are identical to those on the local device, and you can have completely different sets of permissions for the remote device and local device. At this point, I would like to point out the limitations I've set for this permission group regarding remote login on the cameras connected to this NVR, as I will be demonstrating these restrictions on the application itself. I've enabled live viewing for all cameras, but I've only allowed playback for one camera while disabling this function for all the others. Let's save this permission group by clicking on Add, now the group will be listed with the rest of the existing permission groups. Now that we've created the permission group, we can start adding users to it. You can either move an existing user from another permission group or create a new user for this permission group. For this tutorial, let's create a new user. On the right hand side, you'll see a list of all existing users and their assigned groups. To add or create a new user, click the plus button and provide the username followed by a password. Notice you also have the option to allow this user to modify their own password. This feature can be enabled or disabled. And lastly, you need to assign them to a permission group. Let's add them to the new permission group we just created with the restricted permissions called school guards. The administrator will need to authenticate when adding a new user. Once that's done, the user has successfully been added and you'll see they've been assigned to the school cards permission group. On the left-hand side, you can view all their settings and camera permissions. Let's head over to the CAM2 app. To demonstrate the limited permissions for this user, we'll add the NVR device to the CAM2 application via the QR code. Once we've scanned the code, select 
add by username and password and enter the credentials for the user with restricted access that we've just created. Once we have saved these credentials, we're going to observe what happens in the application regarding the limitations we have set. As you can see, this user has access to view all cameras live. However, remember that we only provided this user to access playback on one camera. Let's see what happens when the user tries to access playback for the other cameras. On the channels where playback permission is not granted, the user will be unable to view the playback. On the channels where there are no restrictions, the user will be able to view the playback. Now for the fun part. You are the administrator of the MVR, and it's time to manage user permissions using the CAM2 app. First, let's add the CAM2 recorder the same way we did for the user with limited permissions, but this time we'll use the administrator username and password. Now that we logged in, you can see that all functions are fully accessible and working as expected. Next, let's say you want to change permissions for a user. You can do this in the CAM2 application. We've made it super, super simple. Head over to the remote settings by clicking the top left icon. Then select your device, and then click on Accounts and Permissions. In this menu, in this menu, you can add a new user, edit an existing user, or even modify existing permission groups. Let's go and modify camera permissions within a permission group by clicking on Edit Permissions. Select any one of the existing groups. And in order to change permissions for the remote camera access, click on Remote. A list of all your cameras will appear. Just like on the NVR, the same permission options are available, and you can toggle any of these options on and off. If you've made any changes, don't forget to save. If you need to remove a user entirely from accessing this MVR, head over to Edit User, swipe left on the user you want to delete, and click on the Trash button. You can also add a new user from the screen by clicking on Add User at the bottom. And just like the NVR, you'll need to fill in the user's credentials and assign them to an existing permission group. Another awesome feature in the CAM2 application is the ability to change the administrator's password. Let's say you're an end user and you want to ensure that your installer no longer has access to your system via the administrator password. Let's see what happens to anyone logged into your NVR using the administrator password once you have changed it. So right now we're going to log in using the current administrator password. Let's head over to the CAM2 app and change the password. Go to your device list and click the settings icon next to the device to access its settings. Head on and select change device password. You'll be prompted to enter the current administrative password followed by the new password. Once you've completed those steps, hit OK to save the changes. Now let's go back to the MVR where someone is logged in with the old administrative password. After a few seconds, they will automatically be logged out. And if they try to log back in using the old password, they will no longer have any access. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for joining and I'll see you next time.